On today's edition of our Tech Trend series, we look at autonomous creations, technology able to make decisions independently. But will consumers be willing to sit back and relax while their gadgets do all the work? Here's what people we spoke to had to say. People that want to text and, you know, yap on their cell phones and do uh, get distracted in some way. Self-driving car doesn't get distracted. Safety is an issue. I don't think machines are fully 100% safe. Um, there is error. There's breakdowns. There's mechanical errors all the time. We see it in our, our bus systems where, in our metro systems, where doors don't open or doors don't close. Imagine being in an accident and your car is about to set on fire and your door doesn't open. That's scary. <laughs> there has to be enough trial. You know, there, there has to be enough testing done. Um, but if everything works pr perfectly, then why not? You know, look at what's happened just in the last 10 years on uh, robotic surgery, um, you know, very precise uh, medical procedures. I mean, I think that's one of the most lucrative fields. I don't need robots. I can just have kids and have them clean up my house. <laughs> So mixed opinions there. Well, driverless car testing has been underway in California for several years without government regulation. Now the state allows testing of autonomous vehicles on public roads, but with a special permit. Yekenda McGahee looks at the race to get driverless car technology onto the roads. We have a lot of lane closures and road work. The bumper to bumper daily grind in congested cities like Los Angeles evokes a universal emotion. <laughs> Frustration. It's enough to make you wish for a day when your car could drive itself. Ah, <sighs> the things one could do if only the car could do the driving. Read. Eat. Surf the web. You have at least 25 new emails. Sleep. But driverless cars may be navigating the roads by the turn of the decade, predicts some automakers. Audi was the first to apply for the state of California's new autonomous testing permit. The state has also issued permits to Google, who wants to test 25 adapted Lexus SUVs, and to Daimler AG's Mercedes-Benz. While self-driving vehicles are still years down the road, new advances in driver-assisted technology in the newest model cars may be proof that autonomous vehicles are quickly speeding in our direction. Hi, I'm Dave Parasek. I'm the Mustang Chief Engineer, and behind me is the 2015 Mustang. Loaded with a ton of customer driving assist technologies. As Ford introduces the newest model of its most iconic car, the Mustang, released globally for the first time ever in more than 120 countries, it's hard to ignore the high-tech features which help a driver, well, drive. Adaptive cruise control where it'll keep a certain distance between you and the car in front of you. Rain sensing wipers. Collision mitigation, if the car senses that there's an impending collision, it'll warn you. And then it precharges the brake system so that you're gonna come to a stop quickly and avoid that, that collision. Could these be a precursor of things to come? Yes, they really are. The sensor technology is a key component to that, that day when we can have a vehicle drive itself. Also, the software capability inside the vehicle, the connectivity of the vehicle to the cloud, all of these are enablers to help the vehicle stay connected to the world around it and then make decisions safely maneuvering the vehicle. Ford released its own self-driving research car late last year. And at the LA Auto Show in November, Swedish automaker Volvo will unveil its own autonomous vehicle. A far cry from the early autonomous vehicles, like this Carnegie Mellon University prototype, which won a 2007 self-driving car race through urban streets. Since then, the technology advances in driverless vehicles have been... burning rubber. It's quite possible that in just seven more years, they'll be burning gas on congested roadways. We've got an accident to watch for. That's blocking two right lanes of traffic. Yekenda McGahee, CCTV, Los Angeles.